If you haven't started frying everything in lard in your life, you really need to start because it is amazing. Hey guys, it's Brian from Cook's Country. Today we're gonna to be making cinnamon sugar fried sweet potatoes. So this recipe is inspired by a recent trip I took to Cajun country in Louisiana, where I attended a boucherie, which is basically a celebration of all things hog and pork. And of the many appetizers they had that day and the many side dishes, perhaps my favorite were these sweet potatoes that were fried in lard and then tossed in cinnamon sugar. So let's get started. I have two pounds of sweet potatoes here. We're just going to peel them. I like to trim the ends off so my peeler has something to grab onto. It's a great way to peel. You just start at the top here, let the edge of your peeler catch on the top cut part of the potato skin, and just go all the way down. All the way down. And again. Potatoes are peeled. Clean off our cutting board, and we want to slice these potatoes about a quarter of an inch thick. When you're slicing potatoes, or anything round actually, it's nice to kind of give yourself a little flat surface to work on. So if you want to just shave off a little bit like that so the potato sits flat. And then a quarter inch thick. You could use a mandolin for this if you have one, or if you're like me and you constantly got a knife in your hand, you could use your knife. So the great thing about these potatoes, aside from being tossed with cinnamon and sugar, is that they're fried in lard, which gives them an incredible flavor. Actually, everything that day in Cajun country at the boucherie was fried in lard, so one of the best days of my life. All right, so we have two pounds of lard that we melted down here, and we've heated it up to 350 degrees. So we're gonna add about half of our sweet potatoes directly to this. One of the great things about this recipe and what we saw there uh, at the boucherie that day was that this was just kind of an appetizer. They had lard that we were frying crackling, they were frying meat, and when the, the meat and the crackling were out of the pot, that's when the sweet potatoes went in. All right, so while those are frying away, we can make our cinnamon sugar mixture. In Louisiana, when they were dressing these potatoes, they used something, a prepared mixture called sweet treat, which had cinnamon, sugar, a touch of salt, and a little bit of vanilla. All right, so we could make our cinnamon sugar mixture by adding two and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon of table salt, and three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Just give that a whisk. And that's all set, and we'll just wait for our potatoes to finish frying. Okay, so our potatoes have been frying for about six minutes. You can see they're nicely golden brown, and they are tender when poked with a tip of a knife. It's perfect. So we can just drop those here on a sheet pan that's lined with some paper towels. If you haven't started frying everything in lard in your life, you really need to start because it is amazing. We'll let this oil come back up to temperature. Again, we're looking for 350. Okay, the oil is at 350. We're going to go ahead and drop our second batch of potatoes in. So whenever you're dropping things in bubbling super hot oil, I think the inclination is to drop it from way up high, but what happens there is that you end up splashing the oil back on your hand. So if you can stomach it, you want to get as close as possible to the oil, actually let the food touch the oil, and then slowly release it so it just gently falls like a feather into the oil. So in Louisiana, they had these big black cast iron cauldrons that they were frying the meat in, frying the crackling in, and like I said, frying these sweet potatoes in, and they were stirring it with a big metal like canoe ore. It was really, really impressive to watch. Okay, so it's been a good six minutes. So we can throw these potatoes onto our sheet pan. We'll turn off the fire. And it's always good, even if they just sit there for a second, to let these things sit on paper towels rather than a straight wire rack, because you want to wick away some of the oil that's actually stuck to the food. This applies for fried chicken, for whatever fried food you're making. So these really only have to sit here for just a, a few seconds, just until the excess oil drains off. So now we can marry the sweet potato and the cinnamon sugar mixture. And you could do this with regular vegetable oil if you like, but the lard is, offers a ton of additional flavor. I mean, your kitchen will start smelling like, like pork, which is a great thing where I live. Okay, so we could just give these a bit of a toss. Just trying to coat the potatoes in the cinnamon sugar mixture. And since it's kind of hard to come by vanilla powder, I wait if I'm gonna add the vanilla to add it right here. And I'll just add a couple of, couple of drops down to the side of the bowl. 
once the potatoes are, are already coated. I don't add it to the cinnamon sugar mixture because it'll tend to clump. And then just give it another quick toss. It smells delicious. Go right to the platter. And this is what it was. It's super simple. It's got a ton of flavor from the cinnamon sugar and that, that lard. These are super delicious. They're not potato chip style, so they're not going to be super crunchy, but the cinnamon sugar mixture gives it a little bit of texture. And that lard flavor is just permeated through, through the whole sweet potato. So if a sweet potato was good before, it's excellent after taking a bath in lard. Hey, has this ever happened to you where you fry a batch of fried chicken on your stove and you have this hot pot of oil and you figure, hey, what the hell, I'm just gonna fry a bunch of other stuff? Yeah, me too. If so, tell me what you fried down in the comment section below. And for more great recipes like this, go to cookscountry.com.